Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. A little background behind me. I go to the University of Georgia. Go dogs. I just finished my sophomore year. I'm in Kappa Delta. I was an out of state student. I live in Tampa, Florida now. I don't know why I'm giving you guys this little bio, but I, as someone commented, you always say you go to UGA. Well, I'm proud. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try and do this video in one cut. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to because my brother just invited a ton of friends over and everyone's screaming, so a good time. But um, I wanted to just sit down and because I have this thing about sitting on the ground. Like I totally could have like put my tripod up and like sat on my bed or like on my chair. No, I just want to sit on the ground. I put on a sweatshirt um, and I wanted to talk about just kind of like a reflection on my last two years of college since I'm about to be a junior and I've already done, I'm already halfway through, blah, 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 I'm already halfway done. I can't speak. I'm already halfway through college is what I'm trying to say which is crazy to think about um and i was gonna do like a sophomore year reflection but i kind of wanted to open up the table to you guys so i posted on my instagram story if you guys don't follow me on instagram you definitely should because i'm always kind of posting on my story asking you guys to engage oh they're coming upstairs i know they're about to start screaming but um i just posted this i was just like filming a reflection video you know submit your questions because i was gonna like come out with a whole timeline and an outline of like what i want to talk about but honestly i kind of just want to see what y'all's questions are the main reason i want to film this video i mean is for me to look back on but also to kind of give you guys an idea of college and i know a lot of you guys are about to go into your freshman year which is so exciting and it's a, it's really nerve-wracking graduating as a senior in high school going to be a freshman like in a new pond but um, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to talk about my experiences. I just got home. The reason I'm all my hair is all done up is I just went to my brother's baccalaureate service at his high school. He's about to be, he's about to graduate high school, and um, they were just like reflecting on the year, and I was just in a reflective mood. And I'm trying to upload every day, but I don't know. My friends are coming tomorrow, and I just know that I'm just gonna want to hang out with them. So I wanted to get this video up. I'm in a talkative mood. And yeah, so I hope I don't like cry. I feel like I'm kind of emo right now. Um, it's also nine o'clock and all of my friends are watching Game of Thrones. So no one's like on their phone right now. So I was like, why don't I just talk to a camera, right? <laughs> all right, so I have lots of different <coughs> questions and I just asked you guys to just ask me questions about my last two years because I want to make sure I'm answering questions that you guys genuinely have. So let's see. Maddie Bro asks, what would you do different? I think it's so hard because with life, you never, I mean, you don't want to live with regrets. And obviously there's things in life I regret, but I also don't regret those things. It's like thinking about, oh, remember when I used to wear, you know, Aeropostale and Hollister legit every day. I don't want to say I regret that because at the time that's kind of what was cool and like what everyone was wearing and i really enjoyed it or when i had my preppy phase and i was obsessed with like monogram necklaces i don't regret that because at the time it made me really happy it doesn't only relate to fashion it's just the first thing that came to my mind but some things i would have done differently my first semester freshman year i just don't think i was as present as i should have been i had a boyfriend that was already graduated from college so he wasn't really in that mindset um, neither did he go to my school. I don't regret dating him in while I was at college, but if I were to like have a, I think I would have like changed things or I would have tried to be more present and not always focused on the future. Like literally first semester freshman year, I was like, I can't wait to graduate, which is like now I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm loving it so much more that the thought of graduating and like going into the real world in two years is terrifying to me. And so I think that would be my biggest advice to you guys going into your freshman year of college is really like when people say it's your, the best four years of your life like it is a really good time i i really did love high school like sometimes i joke i peaked in high school i just really loved my high school i know that's really rare but college is starting to become a lot of fun too college is such a cool time because it's like you're not in high school so your parents aren't like on you all the time but like you also are like safe and protected and you still get to go home for summer vacation and everything but you have so much freedom and you get to study things that you actually enjoy and start to you know kind of get more into your major which is really cool so i think there's pros and cons but i think my biggest thing i would do different is just be more present my first year freshman year um and be more social even though i'm a really social person i wish i just said yes to absolutely everything i could because there's definitely times i just decided to stay in because i just didn't feel like it um how to get guy friends <laughs> 
that's a hard one for me so my first day moving into the freshman dorm i found out that my dorm was an all girls hall i had or all girls dorm like i had no idea i just picked hill hall i was just like whatever it sounds good i didn't know a thing being out of state i had no idea so I moved in, I was like, wow, there's a lot of females. And then they're like, yeah, this is an all girls dorm. And I, not that I was mad about that, honestly, it was nice because then I didn't have to like worry about being my towel or guys just randomly coming into my room all the time. But that definitely hindered the whole guy friend aspect of it all because I came from high school having like all these great guy friends to going out of state where I didn't really, I had like two guy friends that came from my high school and that was it. And I didn't have any guy friends like a lot of my friends made guy friends like in other dorms because they like lived in the same building and you just get to know people and I didn't have that so that was like one thing that kind of was hard for me and then I made some guy a lot of guy friends I initially had one of my best guy friends um to this day we met in my freshman class I literally sat next to him and I was so confused on what the professor was talking about I just like literally asked him like where do I go online like what's this website she's on and him and I are still really good friends I mean like I took him on one of my date nights and you know so that's just one way like I was in a group project with him so like stuff like that where you're just in group projects which isn't a lot your freshman year but um a lot of it was through classes and then the thing is when you have a boyfriend that doesn't go to the school it's different because you uh, you can go to like these socials with other fraternities but I feel like it's hard to make guy friends when you're in a relationship because honest I gotta be honest like freshman year guys are you know they're trying to like meet girls you know and so when they find out you're kind of like dating someone a lot of times they're just like eh, like I can put my attention elsewhere because it's not going anywhere let's just be real and like that's fair even for girls like it's just like a thing like I feel like a lot of friendships start just from like people being interested in each other I don't know I, I think that sounds weird but it's true so I wasn't meeting guy friends really because I wasn't really putting myself out there because I didn't have to because I had a boyfriend anyways I'm gonna stop talking about the ex-boyfriend I just I feel like it's like really pertinent to everything um so yeah that was that um but then this year um I was single so I was just making guy friends just by like getting to know guys because I felt like I could and I really suggest just getting to know guys by literally going up to them if like one of your friends does like me and my friends have a rule like if we're talking in a group to a ton of guys like freaking introduce me bro like i hate if i'm like with my friend and a guy comes up and she just talks to him and he walks away like why don't you introduce me like we should all be friends you know so I, my friends and i have this pact where we all just kind of like introduce each other at all times um and then honestly i've made a lot of guy friends recently because my boyfriend now that i met at school all of his guy friends I've just gotten to know so well because I'm like with him a lot and he's with them all the time and I just love his friends so that's like one way I definitely made a lot of friends I'm not saying like get a boyfriend and get guy friends but now I do have a great guy friend group and they always they're just the sweetest guys ever so I'm really really thankful I finally have guy friends because for a while it's just a lot of females <laughs> so yeah um how did you maintain a healthy diet you just don't freshman year I just you know you can try to like look out for yourself but honestly just gain that freshman 15 i mean i'm not i'm not saying that don't tell your mom i told you to do that but i mean just have fun like i tried to be vegan freshman year and it really just like it's a social thing to go eat like it's a thing you're just you're gonna gain weight freshman year because it's just a whole new thing so just have fun with it obviously don't go ham but i i just i'm here to tell you just have some fun and sophomore year is when you need to get your act together that's all i'm saying um how to figure out whether to keep a friend in your life um i don't know what you mean if it, if you mean like from high school going into college whatever it may be but i'm always into relationships i think the relationships you build in high school the relationships the relationships you build in college mean a lot in the future and you never know who you could end up being a business partner with or just i don't know reconnecting i'm not into the whole like enemy thing i don't have any like ex friends like all my friends are still my friends i hate the whole cancel culture all of that i think let's just all be civil <coughs> um are you closer with your big or your little i'm honestly really lucky and i'm close with my big and my little and my grand big um i love my fam um how your grades can change from high school to college that's a really good question so in high school i like killed it like i was I, I was really proud of myself in high school. I really, because I feel like in high school, you're trying so hard to do well, especially junior and senior year to like get into college. So you're like trying so hard on your APs and your classes and 
extracurriculars and then you get to college and you're like, okay, I'm here. I mean, some people are trying to go to grad school. I don't think I personally am. So at first freshman year, I was like, well, I mean, I just need to get a degree, right? Like it was like, she's good degrees, you know? And then I just realized that grades do still matter. And not that I ever didn't think they did, but I definitely had a point where I was like, oh, like I'm just here for fun and whatever. Let's just, you know, I just want a degree and that's that. But, you know, to you, you still got to do well and you can't just fail out. Not that that was my plan at all. I'm just being real with you guys. So then um, I really had to get my act together. I realized that college classes aren't as easy as high school classes. You can't just finesse your way around. Like you can't just study the night before. Like you really have to study. It's a lot. Your teachers aren't, your professors aren't emailing you being like, hey, like, you know, there's a test tomorrow. Just remind our kids. Like, you don't get that. And I also went to a small high school, so I was really used to, like, my teachers being on me. Like, today I was at my old high school, and, like, all my teachers still remember my name. Like, they were like, hey, didn't, like, yeah. So, going to UJ was definitely a big adjustment in that sense. And my freshman year, first most freshman year, grades were rough. I'm going to be honest. Um, but now I'm killing it, and I'm happy to say it. I'm not even trying to be cocky. I'm just really proud of myself. I had to adjust, for sure. It's an adjustment. So I'd have to say hit the ground running when you go to college academic-wise because, for me, I really thought it wasn't going to be that hard. I was like, oh, all these lecture classes. Like, you don't even have to go to class. Like, I still went to class. But I was like, oh, like, no one goes to class, and I actually go. Like, I'll be fine. No, it, yeah, it's hard. So, and your teachers will literally have no remorse, and they will grade you poorly if they want so um that was one thing that I definitely learned does it feel like it has gone by quickly yes I literally can like picture myself on the first day of move in like meeting daily and my roommate Delaney like I just, I just remember that so well like it was so funny also okay little anecdote I said this in like a video before and like podcast, but I just think this is so funny. Freshman year, I, you guys know I'm like super close with my freshman year hallmates to this day. I just can't believe those little boogers. Like they all had watched my videos before I got there and I had no idea I became best friends with them. And like three weeks into school, I was, I had to leave um, for a weekend to go to play this live, a YouTube event. And I was like, how do I tell my new friends that I'm like leaving to go to Orlando for like, or DC, I was going to play this DC for like a YouTube event, like how do I say this? And so I like, we were all sitting um, at the Tate Student Center and we were like talking and I and we were eating pizza late at night and I was like, hey guys, so I'm not gonna be here this weekend for this like thing and I'm like, I kinda do this YouTube thing. Like I, I thought the only person that knew was my roommate Delaney because I told her obviously because I was gonna be like filming. I was like, hey, like, you know. And they all just kinda like looked at each other and they are like, we know and i was like what like what are you guys talking about they're like danielle we watched your videos before we came here but then we met you and you were super cool and like we wanted to be your friend like a genuine friend and didn't want you to think we were using you or anything and honestly i respected it hardcore but i remember being so blown away like a daily told me one night i like walked into her room to like say something and she was like watching my video and i just thought that was so funny like i was also honored that they truly wanted to be my friend so little anecdote i just thought that was really funny um I'm trying to see what you expected college to be like versus what it actually is. So I've had two, I have two years under my belt now. College is honestly pretty much what I thought it was going to be in the best way. Like it really is just a ton of fun. People everywhere. Everyone's, there's always something going on. Someone's always wanting to hang out, partying, whatever people are doing. Like there's really just always something like, apparently I was told I need to watch the movie, uh, Animal Land or Animal animal house something like that apparently it's like the epitome of college um so i need to watch that but yeah frat houses are really frat houses like it's just it's just funny like you know i don't know so and it's i don't know uh i'm trying not to edit this so i'm like trying to go fast uh how did you avoid the sophomore slump i didn't know the sophomore slump was a thing sophomore year in high school was a fun time for me and sophomore year college was really fun i know it's just gonna go up from here it's just gonna be fun each year um i really had a lot of fun this year because i finally had my grounds of everything i really again i will reinforce that freshman year is an adjustment and it is hard and is a transition and you're not gonna feel yourself i did not feel myself right away i felt weird i felt out of place i didn't like it at first and it is such a normal feeling and i learned that later on and i wish i knew that going into it um and then sophomore year i like had so many i made more friends this year i met so many more people and next year, it's just going to be even better. So, I don't know. Sophomore wasn't really a slump year for me. Um, 
what did you drop after freshman year and what did you add sophomore year? So I came in freshman year thinking I wanted to be a marketing major in the business school and then I realized I'm terrible with numbers and it just wasn't, I was into more of creative things. So that was one thing that I guess I like dropped. I decided not to be an intended business student. Um, what else? I was in a dance team freshman year and then I auditioned again this year and made it and then decided it was just gonna be too much. Um, to be honest, my last two years, I haven't been super involved on campus, and in high school, I was so involved, like, it was crazy, and I loved it, so then coming to college, I was like, okay, it's kind of nice to, like, not be in charge of everything, and, like, just kind of, like, let someone else take charge, like, I used to be the person, like, in my group projects to, like, organize it all, and I, I can't even lie, coming to college, I've kind of been more, like, I'll let someone else, you know, take con control, but the Virgo in me is, like, after a while, if no one's saying, I'm like, okay, I'll do it, like, I'll make the Google Doc, like, I'll sign, I'll do the extra stuff, like, I don't know, it just, like, depends. <sighs> uh, but, yeah, I think something moving forward, I would love to be more involved on campus. I'm pretty involved in my sorority. I do a lot of the videography. I'm on the PR team. I helped a lot with the recruitment videos, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I guess I kind of wish I got more involved, but I also just don't have time because, like, of YouTube and stuff, and I'm already trying to balance all of it as it is. All right, I like this question. A comparison of the party scene from freshman to sophomore year. <clears throat> okay, so one of the reasons I think I just didn't love UGA at first freshman year was because everyone, like, I mean, it was a party every dang day in Athens. Like, everyone's like, are you going out? Are you going out? Like, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Are you going to this? I was like, it is a Monday afternoon. The last thing I'm thinking about is, like, going to a get-together. I don't know. It was just, like, crazy to me. And I know, looking back, I probably should have gone to more of those because that's just how you meet people, especially at a big school like that. It's just, like, by going to events and stuff like that. But I will say, you're probably going to be overwhelmed your first year because there's a lot of that. It's a lot of, like, especially the first few weeks of school, they call it, like, syllabus week. People just go out every night just because you don't really have classes. Or if you do, it's just, like, they give you your syllabus and you're done for the day. You don't have much work, whatever it may be. So people kind of go ham. And I, you know, I was in high school and I kind of lived in a little bit of a bubble. I went to a small high school. I just wasn't used to, like, a ton of things going on all the time. So that was really nerve-wracking for me because I was just like I, I I'm also a grandma and I don't really like to go to bed too late and like the thing about college like in high school if we had parties it was like they started at seven and they ended up they ended at midnight and like people went home in college you don't even start thinking about going out until like 10 o'clock 11 and I remember being like oh my god like I was like trying to start a movement where we all went out earlier but that couldn't happen so that was definitely weird but sophomore year, I've noticed people are a little bit more balanced in their mindset of like, you know, people are starting to get into their majors and trying harder in classes and everything like that. So people definitely calm down more. So don't be alarmed your freshman year if it's just a constant party because I was freaking out and I was like, I don't, I need to be at a different school. Like I can't hang. This is, I never, I'm not one to succumb to peer pressure. So definitely like kind of set your, set your grounds before you get to the school. So that wasn't really an issue for me. It was just, and I don't really get FOMO. It was just more of like, I felt bad because I felt like I should be there just be, to like meet people. Um, so yeah, but freshman to sophomore year, sophomore year calms down a little bit. So that's always good. Um, this whole non-editing thing is terrifying, but I just want it to be raw and real, you know? Uh, favorite moment from your first two years I think I felt this one I felt like the first time I had like a warm and fuzzy feeling being around people was freshman year spring break when we went to Gulf Shores and I was like I really like these people like it was the first time I was like wow like some, meeting some of my best friends I was like I can call these people my best friends and like finally feeling at home finally feeling welcome not that no one didn't make me feel welcome I just finally felt that warm and fuzzy feeling that I did with my friends from high school um and then just constant you know month after month feeling way more and more comfortable just on campus and stuff like that um yeah what was the hardest part about college just the adjustment i know i talk about this all the time but i just think it's so important because i totally went in thinking i was just gonna thrive right away and that's just that's just not how it goes Things you wish you knew about recruitment week, Greek life. Um, so I, 
a lot of you guys asked me to talk about this Greek life is just so hard to talk about I just I don't want to say like the wrong thing or anything um, but for me going into recruitment week I was so excited I love talking to people I'm a people person like I honestly thrive during rush because I just love talking to people and it's fun and I love the chance you know like at UGA it's like intense like those Twitter videos you see of like welcome to the gates of hell like yeah that's us like okay hey like it's just it's just what we do and it's so fun and I honestly bond with my friends during like spirit week the week before recruitment because we all just like have so much fun and I get so much closer with girls in my sorority but going in as a freshman, I obviously didn't really know anybody and I didn't know anything about any of the sororities or anything. So I just honestly went in with a blind eye and just got a feel for it. And I really think that's the best thing you can do because I had friends in my Gamma Chi group, which is like your smaller group you put in during recruitment. And some of them that I met were like, oh, you need to like, I, my mom told me this about the sorority and my friend's older sisters in this one. And this is the one I want to go in. I didn't come into UGA being like, I want to be a Kappa Delta. Honestly, I came in being like, I probably shouldn't. Katie was the only one I knew someone in. And I was like, it was my best friend, Brooke. And I was like, oh, like, I probably shouldn't go the same story as Brooke. Like, everyone will think it's just because of her. Well, there's obviously a reason I went Katie. It's because I love Brooke. She's one of my best friends. So all the girls in KD are similar to her or in different ways or just people I can vibe with. So, like, naturally, I just felt at home there. And that was my biggest thing during recruitment. I didn't, I, I know I got cut from certain sororities because I had a YouTube channel. Like I was told that, like I know that. Um, I've some, you know, have just weird rules about social media so they don't want to worry about me or whatever it may be. And I didn't want to be in a sorority like that. I wanted to be in a sorority that respected what I did. And Katie never mentioned it during recruitment, obviously, but I, I definitely felt welcome. And there's so many girls in my sorority that do something that they're really passionate about and that was something I really looked for but I guess I just didn't realize going into recruitment that and I'm gonna make a whole video on this but I didn't realize going into recruitment that like a lot of it is who you know like there were certain sororities that honestly I really really liked going into recruitment or not going into like during recruitment week like after going to the house and I was like oh my god I loved them and then literally I woke up the next morning went to the my gamma Kai group and they cut me and I was like ouch like it happens and I was like what did I do wrong and after being on the other side like sometimes it's just literally there's so many go girls going through recruitment you might have had a great conversation but there's there's legacies involved and like everything like that and it's crazy or it's like you didn't go to this like a lot of stories like they have like certain like like I don't know like a lot of people from one town go to this one sorority I had no idea there's not really one for girls from Tampa because we're out of state I don't know man it is wild and I learned so much going through it and I think the biggest thing is you can't take things personally because no one, no one's trying to hurt anybody. And you definitely do have to go in with thick skin. Like I remember there's a couple times I was, I never cried during recruitment really. I just remember being like, oof, like I thought I had a great conversation with that sorority and they just didn't want to ask me back, you know? But I am a true believer that everything happens for a reason. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely weird. It's like literally the bachelorette where you're like speed dating and then they literally go back and like figure out if you're good for their sorority. But it truly is like when I was on the other side of recruitment, we just look like, can these people vibe with our sorority? So it's everyone's looking for each other's best interest. There is a place for everybody. I could have seen myself in multiple sororities. I really at the end, I really did want Kappa Delta because I just felt at home and I really, truly love it. And I've met my best friend through it. But I am a true believer that everything happens for a reason and I am where I'm supposed to be and all of that and a bag of chips so i feel like i've answered enough questions i'm trying to think if there's anything i wanted to talk about um but yeah sophomore year was a great year it was dandy um first semester sophomore year was still kind of rough i was still getting adjusted to it all the fall is always crazy because it's like game day every weekend and we went to new orleans one weekend for the lsu game and i was traveling a lot like obviously i'm doing youtube at the same time and a lot of youtube brand trips happen to be in the fall so that's always fun but yeah this spring was a really good time i got to have so much fun on spring break i met my boyfriend that i have now honestly if you guys would have asked me like literally i was like i'm not gonna find like a guy at uga i really was convinced i was gonna like just go all four years single af and i was fine with it i i'm a really independent person i was chill with it i just hadn't really met anyone that i really clicked with 
But the night I met him, I was just being super, I was just loving life. I was with my friends and he honestly just came up to me and introduced himself and he told me it was because I looked like I was having fun and I was just, I exuded confidence and I think that's the biggest thing is just really enjoying being present in the sense of boys at least. Like don't go into college being like, I'm going to find my husband because that, that is just, you're going to get your hopes up. Same with recruitment. Don't go into recruitment being like, I'm going to go to this sorority because most of my friends that did that ended up going a different sorority. So I think that was like one of the biggest lessons I learned is don't go in with high expectations or expectations of something specific because you don't really know how it is going to be until you actually experience it and you kind of live it and you just got to be present with it and be accepting of it and roll with the punches. Um, I'm still, one of my New Year's resolutions was to accept change. I'm still working on it. I'm very set in my ways so when something changes I get really freaked out. Um, so I think that's one thing that I learned in college especially because you are in this massive group of people from all different places, countries, even states, cities in Georgia, and you really just got to learn how to, you know, be around different people and enjoy it. So yeah, I hope this video was interesting. Um, I really have enjoyed my time at UGA and... I'm seriously so thankful. I can't even believe I got in. Like, UGA gets so hard to get into every year. Um, and I'm just, I'm proud to call myself a Georgia Bulldog. I can't wait to see what the next two years. I really hope, like, there's this quote in, like, a Luke Bryan song. It's like, days go by slow, but years go by fast. And I was like, that's so true. Like, days go by pretty slow. But then you look back and it's been a year and you're like, what? So, I'm really trying to enjoy my next two years. Um... I don't, everyone asks what's like my five year plan. I used to say I want to move to New York right after college and I probably still will because I think that's the best time if you want to move in New York City. But I also have been really liking Atlanta lately and Tampa, honestly. I kind of really love Tampa all over again. Um, and we'll see. Yeah, my major is fashion merchandising and we'll see if I end up, I still don't know if I'm going to like do a traditional job right outside of college or if I'm going to wait a little. I don't really know. But I'm not worried at all. I'm really excited for the next two years. I'm really thankful I got to experience my last two years at UGA. And yeah, um, I didn't cry. Wow, look at me. But yeah, now my brother's about to be a freshman in college, which is just crazy. But I can't wait because now he'll come to visit me and everything like that. Anyways, this video is very long. I hope you found this somewhat enjoyable or pleasant or informative or I don't really know maybe you think this video is really weird I don't really know maybe I won't post it who knows but yeah I'm really just gonna post this video I'm not even gonna edit it because I honestly don't feel like it so and I think it'll be more raw and real and I know I've been touching my hair a lot sorry but I love you guys so much have a great day have a great night finish up final strong and if you're graduating high school or college congratulations you freaking did it I'm proud of you and I can't wait to share more of my journey along with you guys. And yeah, comment down below if you guys want to chat or if there's anything you want to talk about. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.